Hi friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be understanding quality management and in that FMEA. That means to say failure modes and effects analysis. These are all the various subheadings that we are going to cover. The purpose or the need of FMEA, FMEA planning, risk priority number, execution, finally the checks and the corrective actions, whatever that is feasible under our current FMEA system. First, we need to understand the purpose why we need FMEA. So, we need to have the risk based thinking and based on that, we need to have all the feasibilities or the mechanisms under our system or product or process, all the things for the right error proofings. That means that we should not have any defects in the things that we are going to do. Can be for critical parameters classification, for product FMEA, process FMEA, system FMEA or it can be an interface FMEA. So product FMEA will be for a certain component, process will be for certain sequence of operations that's going to happen or it can be for a system that means to say there is one component, there is also other component both works in the same system. So we have to do a system FMEA or it can be through an interface means there can be some kind of you know electrical inf interface and also mechanical interface so both things merge together so at the interface level there can be certain failure modes we need to address those things and take right risk mitigation mechanisms for all those things now we are going to understand rpn that means to say the risk priority number it means to say what is the severity level of the failure mode that we are speaking about? What is the occurrence level and the non-detection levels? From severity level, we can talk about that if there is a threat for the human life, then the severity level will be very, very higher. The range can be from 1 to 10. If the higher the severe, the ratings will be very closer to 10. Occurrence means to say what is the frequency of this particular failure mode that is going to be happening. For every manufacturing process, if this particular failure is happening in every cycle, that means to say the occurrence value will be very, very close to 10. And detection would be if you can easily detect that particular thing, then the values will be very, very close to 1. So for all these three parameters, the value can vary between 1 to 10. And things to be taken care of is that it can never be zero. So all this multiplication of that would come a value of risk priority number. From execution point of view of FMEA, we need to have a cross-functional team because diversity significantly helps in identifying the various risks that are associated in our value addition systems. Facts means it has to be evidence based. It should not be based on some kind of feelings. There can be a shop floor visit and based on that I take right evidences. Based on that my further planning of FMEA is going to be done. And finally we need to also have an action plan. That means to say if I take this particular action the RPN value will significantly come down. So that is what should be the objective of our FMEA. Various checks also we can do, it can also get some kind of feedback from customer complaints which are relatively external or it can also because of an internal defects. We can easily reduce that and based on this particular information, we can put that in our FMEA system and our RPN values can be significantly lower. Corrective action needs to be taken, then only the RPN value can come down. So that is why we call FMEA as a living document and there are various mechanisms that are possible like reverse FMEA. That means to say the production line will be running and after having start of production several months or years ago, you go with a cross-functional team and identify the various risks or the failure modes that are available in that particular process or product. And again come back and take certain actions so that the before RPN and then after RPN will be significantly lower. To conclude, we understood the importance of FMEA, what are all the plannings and execution that we need to do and what are all the things that we need to take care when we are actually doing the FMEA. That's all in this video. Thank you so much.